Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Now here we have the humble 50 caliber turret mounted onto one of my simple tank hulls and pointing off to the side for some reason. Now, when I started messing about with BD Armoury, this thing was kind of the mainstay of my anti-aircraft weaponry, but it has been heavily, heavily nerfed over the years. It's a shame really, because just the range of angles this thing can reach made it such a phenomenal weapon, but here I am doing a fly past with my um, with my spike tail at about 1200 meters in altitude, and there's no way I would dare do this if the thing on that tank was a Vulcan or a goalkeeper. My spike tail would just be ripped to shreds. Um, I mean, the 50 cal turret isn't the only kind of lackluster gun in the current sort of stock BD armory, but I want to see if we can rehabilitate these guns using the most Kerbal way possible, just adding more. So we're going to start in almost disappointingly sane fashion by just uh, repeating our flyover but this time our medium tank hull has six of these uh, six of these 50 cal turrets again pointing off to the side for some uh, reason but not anymore let's see is this any worse of an idea flying over when there are this many we're getting the odd smattering but nothing really what's it caught uh yeah a little bit of damage here and there but nothing oh that's a bit more that's a bit more worrying that's a bit more like it. Um, I mean, it's lost its landing gear. But yeah, this is this is kind of taking a while and not doing an awful lot. Hmm. Okay, so six, not quite enough. How about 15? Uh, six of them managed to take down the wing part I was looking at to... Uh, what was it? A little over halfway on its hit points. So hopefully this should do some serious damage. There we go. They're targeting it. I think the gun range is two and a half kilometers. Oh my god, that's a lot of bullets. That is a lot of bullets. Nothing happening at the moment. Oh, for God's sake, guys, come and get your aim right. Here we go. Second volley. This is looking a little more promising. Yeah, that's that's doing more damage. Third volley, hopefully. Here we go. Yeah, that's done the trick. <clears throat> it did take a while, though. I don't just want this to be, you know, something that if you fly slowly overhead, you know, you might be in trouble. I want this to just... I want this to be unthinkable. Okay, giving the craft a little bit more juice this time because awaiting it are 33 50 cals. Let's see if even with the increased speed, these, uh, these can take out the spike tail. Here we go. Oh my god, that is a lot of bullets there. Bit of a soundbar kicking in. Oh my god, that was nothing fatal so far. I think possibly with the uh, with the second barrage. There it goes. Yep, stuff's going missing. Yeah. So not only were we going faster, yeah, managed to do it pretty comprehensively in just the uh, just the two barrages. Oh my god, here comes more. Yeah, the cockpit just about managing to hold out and survives the landing. And hopefully we'll survive the barrage of gunfire that's still coming in. Okay. So, 33.50 cals will just about do it. Is there something else we can do with these things, though? So dropping a bit in the sanity stakes, I've now strapped a few of these things to one of my lynxes. Uh, we've got four top, four bottom. I'm not holding out much hope of how these things will perform, so I've decided to uh, to not put the bar too high. They'll be going up against the first iteration of my cyclone. Let's uh, let's get these into the air. The fight starts now. These guns are. Pretty heavy, which is going to mess with the uh, mess with the tune, mess with the balance of this craft. I try to minimise that as best I can, but I don't think it's it's going to um, going to completely undo it. Mainly, as I said, because of the weight. Uh, everybody seems to be uh, to be looking capable of dodging missiles, apart from one of the cyclones, which has yeah, that <laughs> one's gone. Okay. Josh Kerman closing the distance here goes for a uh, goes for a sidewinder. 
I was hoping to see more gun kills and missile kills, and maybe the uh, that stricken cyclone. Yeah, that stricken cyclone seems to be taking, um, seems to be attracting, distracting a few of the uh, few of the lynxes. Here we go then. Fifty cal turret. What can you do? Absolutely bugger all. Come on. Yeah. Even with eight of these things, it doesn't look hopeful. Oh, there's some more going stuff going in on over there. Yeah, it does look like the uh, the lynxes are the more manoeuvrable, but not really able to uh, to bring sort of like the sustained uh, barrage that will be needed to actually do some damage here. Oh, Yosemite Kerman does get a missile away to no avail. Yeah, the... Oh! That is actually doing some damage. Oh my god, we have actually stripped a control surface off of one of the cyclones. Maybe this wasn't as horrifically stupid an idea as I first thought. Yeah! Loses uh, loses the tail fin, loses stability. Oh, and disappears off the vessel switcher. There we go then. Okay. And it has, t it has taken... <laughs> has taken eight of these things to actually make this work. But uh, yeah, at least it is working. Who'd have thunk it? Adam Kerman desperately trying to hold on there. Yeah, just smattering the craft at the moment. Yeah, if this if that if that was Vulcan far, or especially if it was something like Gal 22 far, this craft wouldn't be dead. Sorry, would be dead. Comes around. More gunfire still managing to hold it off. Mm. I'm not sure for dogfights this is an ideal solution. I think the amount of guns I'd have to put on something to, to make it equivalent to uh, to a pair of Vulcans might be prohibitive weight-wise. Although, to be fair, it is doing better than I thought it would do. He says as Adam Kerman keeps the fight going. <laughs> Just holding on a little longer. Yeah. Having real difficulty getting in that final kill. Oh, now we see some proper damage. Oh. <laughs> the Lynxes have actually started taking each other out just through collisions. Oh, God almighty. Oh, and the Cyclone. Now the Cyclone. Oh! Get split in two by the, uh... Split in two by the 50 cals. Okay! <laughs> Are those the other two Lynxes just spinning to their demise? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it worked. Sort of. Um, hmm. I think there's, there's there's probably a more suitable option even in the underpowered guns for uh, for a dogfight though. So we move now to a gun that is at least supposed to be kind of mobile. I'm talking of course about this, the Browning 50 cal, developed towards the end of World War One. Kind of now the default machine gun for well everybody. Um, also, if you can hear noises in the background, my neighbours are doing some DIY. God bless their little cons. Anyway, yes, this is a another 50 cal gun. Bit of a theme developing here. And it's not particularly strong, although maybe it'll be a little stronger if I've got 22 of them. We'll see. We'll see. Let's um, let's just quick save this, actually, just in case something goes wrong. And let's get them into the air. The competition starts. I forgot to mention, yeah, everything else is basically the same as it was last time. I've just swapped out the... Um, swapped out the guns on the uh, links for the Brownings. It's the same components, the Cyclones. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happened. I think last time they did kind of rely on getting a lucky kill at one of the Cyclones, although it did kind of. That was good because it let us see how effective the um, the uh, 50 cal turrets were as, as sort of guns. Um, but I don't know. It'd be nice to actually just have the whole thing decided by the uh, relative um, efficacy of the guns and the aircraft themselves. Ben Kerman dodging some uh, dodging some more missiles. Those are coming pretty close. The cyclones. Oh my god! It's it's mutual destruction. We're down to two v two. Um, yeah. I really need to take a look at uh, take a look at the um, countermeasure setups in my craft. Because 
Yeah, uh, certain countermeasures have been effectively nerfed in recent versions of BD Army, so particularly the flares. It might not be enough. Oh! Oh, we're opening up! We are opening up! 22 Brownings. Can I find the, uh, the craft in question? 22 Brownings. It's had a bit of a smattering. Oh, goes for the, uh, goes for the Sidewinder. I don't think I did anything. Get some heavy hits. I don't think it's stripped anything of note. Oh, okay. Not quite as heavy a hitter as the, as the Vulcan, I don't think. But 22 of them, that's not bad. That isn't bad at all. Let's see what Leg of Lackerman can do to get out of this one. Oh, he just... He just has parts blown off and disappears off the vessel switcher. And has no tail fin. Can I... Can I... Can I get you out of this? Can I get you... No. No, I can't at all. Oh, the autopilot's still going. Loses engines, loses everything else. Huh. So, 22 does work. Hmm. My mind's starting to think now, what if I just pasted this entire thing with Brownings? But I think... I think we might save that for another day. I think we've got the answer to our question. Can you overcome a lack of, uh, a lack of quality with uh, masses of quantity? And the answer is yes. Mainly for the Brownings. I dread to think how many 50 cal turrets I'd have had to have plastered this thing with to, uh, to get it to work as well as the Vulcans. I think it probably would have made the craft very, very heavy, but... Again, I'm kind of tempted. But anyway, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, maybe following me on Twitter, possibly getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Armory and KSP community on there, and more besides. Uh, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon, if you want to help support the channel. You too can get your uh, your own little Patreon Kerbal like GT Kerman next to this this radar window, which keeps making itself massive for some reason. Yes, as well as um, uh, access to the Patreon only Discord, uh, your name at the end of videos, that sort of thing. Uh, I will be back soon with some more BD Armory, but uh, until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.